It might not be just the lighting. I might be pale. Oh, I forgot to go to the bank. It doesn't matter. All right, we are almost at the salon, so I'll see you in there. I just pulled up to park and went to shut the light off, or the light off, the camera off, and realized how terrible this angle is, so. You know, it's all good. You've seen me look worse, right? This hairstyle looks very 50s man from this angle as well. Cool, that's great. So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been It's definitely mildewing. Has anyone else done this? Did I do it wrong? Maybe I left, maybe I left too much pineapple. You know, is it growing roots? We don't know. We probably shouldn't pick at it, but it does need water. And I think what we'll say is when I come in on Wednesday, cause I'm not here tomorrow, that if it's in worse shape, I'll probably have to throw it. Oh, Jesus. I think I'm just gonna throw it. It's all mildewed on the, in the middle. Oh, God. But I'm not giving up. We're gonna have to start again. Okay. The blinds. <sighs> Am I really ready for this? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't worry, I started the camera before I started driving. So let's turn the windshield wipers off because you can probably hear that. We are heading to the salon. I am just leaving our uh, Civic Center, our Motor Center. I'm trying to get a gym membership. Didn't know it would be quite so difficult, but apparently it is. They'll let me know in a couple of days. Anyway. I'm a bit confused, but it's, a, it's all good. It's all good. They'll let me know in a couple of days if I can have a gym membership. No, when I do have a gym membership. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're heading to the salon because I have an Amazon box here. And it has blinds in it. So I think I've mentioned a couple of times, if not just visually in my last vlog, you would see how the sun was coming in. It comes in like crazy uh, for about an hour every morning. And it never used to be as bad as it is now. I don't know what's happening. The trees have not been cut. If anything, they're growing taller. It should be getting better, not worse. I don't, I really don't know. The sun rises and sets, I'm sure, in the same spot that it did last year and the year before that. But, alas, here we are. I finally, after four years of being in that space, needed blinds, so I ordered them. But here's the thing, they are um, like double-sided tape. So you actually stick them up and I'm really kind of excited to try it. I think I am going to also nail them up just with little finish nails or something because in all the heat from the sun, I'm not sure if I should trust the double-sided tape but I'm gonna try to put them up today when the sun is not blaring in there. It was like something like 42 degrees yesterday, like Celsius, like freaking hellfire hot. And today it is 14 and it has poured, like chucked it down rain all day. 
Um, I actually had to turn the heat on in the house. So not only are we in Canada and we have all four seasons, but sometimes we will have all four seasons in one week. Sometimes in one day, if it's the right time of year. But anyway, I got a lot done today because it was not that nice out. I, excuse me, sir. I did not have to worry about what time of day I was going to go sit on the back deck and read my book. There was none of that. So I edited a vlog for you guys, which actually just went live a few minutes ago. I haven't even checked it yet to make sure everything's okay. I just flew it live and then came out the door trying to catch the gym before like four because I didn't know what time they might like admin uh, might go home. Turns out it didn't matter. <laughs> so strange. Uh, so here we are going down the road, going down through town and going to the salon. I don't think there's anybody there. It's Monday. Everybody is essentially off. Sometimes my coworker works on Monday, but generally not kind of uh, later on in the day like this because of the way her schedule at home works. So I believe I'm gonna be there by myself, which is just as well because I do have a lot of noise to make. There might be some hammering, um, you know, things like that. I hate the satellites because not everybody uses them right. And by everyone, I don't mean me, I mean them. Wow, I'm looking pale. I promise you, it's just the lighting. Do you really think I can do it? First of all, there's two in here. I only thought there was one. I don't know what those are. Little puppies. This is a blind. I really like to be as unprepared as possible. I can't get the instructions <laughs> This manual is only an illustration of installation steps and it does not represent the actual product. If you have any questions, please, please refer to the product image and instruction video on the product page or contact our customer service. Alrighty. I think really all you do is just stick it up there. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. We're gonna measure it first, cause that's what we do. Yup, it's gonna fit, okay. So what, how's that go? Measure twice, cut once. Oh, I didn't bring my stool. Ooh, careful, I meant to bring my stool. We're gonna come back tomorrow with the proper um, utensil. And we're going to try again. We're going to try again. But we're going to throw the pineapple out. It's disgusting. You pulling me closer, but don't waste your time. Don't have any time for all your empty lies. I used to think that you were only mine. But I was blinded by shallow light. I'll call you friend.
Okay you guys, not only did that work, but that was so stinking easy. I have, I've literally never, never <laughs> installed something as easily as that. Look at it. I love it. Okay, so there was little uh, white clips that looked like they were meant for here. I'm probably just going to use these black ones because does it really matter? I might clip them to the back side actually, but in the meantime, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy with that. So, so happy. It's linked in the uh, description box below where I got it. Super cheap. Highly recommend. I did clean that with alcohol uh, previously just to make sure it's stuck. But guys, it is super, super sticky. Okay, so as the outro to this video, I wanted to take you with me. It's a Shoppers Drug Mart haul. Do you care? Let's do it. Okay, first and most important, I will snack for four hours after supper. Just continually, I'll eat everything in the house. I have decided, do you see these? They're like childhood. They are amazing, the lighting in here is good. They are the tri, what are they even called? Rainbow lollipops? Anyway, these are perfect for me because what's happening is I'm eating junk food, I'm eating candy, I'm eating whatever. It's making my teeth hurt, it's making me feel awful in the morning. I hate it, I hate everything about it. But these keep me busy for a significant amount of time. I can have a couple or three and I'm still not getting near the amount of junk or sugar that it was before. So, those. First things first. Uh, I think that's it for food. I also have the Live Clean Intense Moisture Dry to Extra Dry Skin. It says 48 hours. I'm so dry I still use oil in the summer, so try me. Um, I also got my Cetaphil Cleanser. I get the Gentle sensitive one I have okay let's talk about this I have the oh, what is the name of this again Casnova Catrice Catrice so I have this in a different color it is their glossy lip oil hyaluronic acid almond oil jojoba oil avocado oil coconut oil it's like 
$8, which is way more than I would normally kind of pay for something like that. But I have another one in my purse and it's actually empty. I rarely finish things like this. It is empty. So I ended up replacing it with this one, which is Glossy Blackberry. And I can't remember what my other one was called, but it was like a 040 and this is 050. So same, but it's sheer enough. You would never know anyway. Um, this, I got one of the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow 24 hour marker. Um, I've had a pencil. I just got something different. I probably have more brow products in the drawer. Likely didn't need to buy that. I have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Uh, I just needed my Anastasia one is like biting the dust. Um, so we'll see. You know, if it's not great, I haven't got a lot in it. I got the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. And I got, how did, how, Jamie, how did the makeup girls do this? I got, anyway, I got a face palette. It's not at all coming across as it should, but it's better than vacation tan. I just needed a new one, the Tarte Princess Palette. Is that the one that smells like vanilla, like cocoa? That one's gone, like hit pan all the way through, gone, gone, gone. And I also got the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation, Hyaluronic Acid, Long Wear in Neutral Hazel. We'll see, we'll see, is all I can say about that. So the makeup that you do see me in when I'm wearing it is a mixture of a Becca matte foundation that is so matte, it's almost disgusting. I'm sure it's great for some people, but for me it was a no-go. I'm mixing that in like a shade that's way too light. I think I got it in a BoxyCharm with a number 40 of the Urban Decay BB Cream sort of foundation. I'll pop it up here what it's called, Urban Decay. Anyway, I'm mixing the two. One's too dark, one's too light. Oh, this is, oh. <laughs> It's a pump. <laughs> it's a pump, but you can also like actually get there. Ooh, that is really runny. Okay, so we'll see what it's like. Literally probably gonna have to use it for a few days before I could even like tell you if you even care. Uh, but sometimes it's nice to know how it sits under a mask, if you wear one, or how it feels on really dry skin if you happen to have that. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss another upload. I try to upload on Mondays. It's all just a game, isn't it? I'll see you later.